like when um, Tim Sheen's Tyler Brown got selected, apparently you were the most enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah, um, it was very nice of him to say that. Um, I'm not sure what everyone else's reactions were like, but I know I was um, yeah, definitely excited to be a part of this squad and uh, looking forward to defending uh, the Four Nations trophy. Why so excited? Um, obviously there was an opportunity um, in the halves with JT pulling out, so um, I knew if, um, if I trained hard and applied myself, there'd be um, a chance for me to wear a starting jersey, which is uh, a goal for everyone in the squad. No, I don't think um, through this series uh, I'll cement a starting spot, especially with uh, JT and Cooper uh, still with so many years to come. Um, but I will take the opportunity to do my best with a starting position. And Cooper, you've been playing with Cooper, of course, and uh, the Origin, one of the Origin games is a great example. You've had combinations with training, and so it's not foreign to you, but it's a bit of a disadvantage of it. Yeah, myself and Cooper played a game last year together in the half, so. Um, I think after a couple of days of training we've quickly uh, assumed our roles again and uh, things are working nicely so far. Up against a, a pretty handy half combination mate as well for the Kiwis, they're not bad. Yeah that's right, uh, very formidable halves pairing. Uh, you know I get to see first hand every week uh, what one of them's all about in Kieran Foran so um, we'll make sure we have our guard up and we'll do our best to limit them this Saturday night. Very important, mate. The uh, the boys lead from the front in this game with so many changes. Obviously, they're not uh, um, you know, going back to the old days, relying on the blokes that have been the backbone of the side for a long, long time. Yeah, that's right. I think in every game of rugby league, you needed to start from the middle, and uh, it definitely against the big Kiwi side. We need to make sure that we lay a platform and go hard with them. And uh, I think we've got the we've still got the side to do that, despite all the injuries. We've got a lot of talent left in this side still, and a lot of toughness up front. So. Um, I'm more than confident that we'll be able to uh, to hold it with the Kiwis and hopefully have some class prevail at the end. No confidence it sounds in the pre-quarter line, it's pretty raw, isn't it? There's a lot of experience there in the, uh, in the base. Yeah, that's right. Um, there's, not, there's not much in, uh, in our back five uh, besides Greg Inglis. So I think we need to make sure that uh, where, where we have experience in the uh, 9761, we take advantage of that, make sure we direct the side around the best we possibly can and. Uh, you know, when the, when the crunch time comes, I'm sure uh, one of them guys will step up and uh, do what's needed for this side. Well, do you think that issue is a direct uh, challenge to uh, GI? Obviously, the more he uh, injects himself into the back line, he's going to make those uh, the younger faces feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, you know, a line break from uh, GI early on will uh, ease everyone's nerves. Uh, he's got a wonderful opportunity, much like myself, to play some good football in their preferred position. So, um, I've got no doubt uh, GI will lead from the front and. He'll have uh, plenty of opportunities this tournament and, and as I said, I've got no doubt he's going to take them and be a real star. Do you, have a, do you have an eye on the future? I mean, you said you're not going to cement a spot, but do you think about the future and this jumper? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've, I've had aspirations to start for my state and country since I was a kid, so um, I feel very pr privileged and honoured at the moment to be able to do that. So. I need to make sure that I don't waste any opportunities when uh, when these opportunities arise. And there's talk that you could be a future Australian captain. Um, how does that make you feel? Oh, they're very nice words, but at the end of the the end of the day, their their decisions that um, that I won't be influencing uh, through uh, what I do. Um, you know, if I just be myself, I'm sure that will take care of itself. And the people above above me, uh, with a lot higher power, will look after that. Um, yeah, I think um, most of the boys, you know, um, Dylan Walker's obviously a standout. Um, he's uh, he's so electric on the field, and he's obviously a big X factor in our side. I think so. Um, and also Aaron Woods up front. He's uh, he's trained really well this week, and oh, I got no doubt. As I said, our front row, um, although it's probably a little bit inexperienced, I got no doubt he'll be able to stand up against the Kiwis. How are you going to react um, if Warren puts a shot on you, mate? <laughs> Just got to grin and bear it, don't you? <laughs> I wouldn't be the first one. He's uh, pretty handy defensively, so um, I'll take my medicine if it happens, and um, hopefully we get the win because that's the last laugh, I think.